All right, we need another animation in order for me to show you more stuff. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna add a new animation into this. And the idea of this animation is to aim lower on the character. So let's get started with uh, a few tricks. Um, how about graph editor? Really handy little script under animation graph editor. Also, hypergraph hierarchy is a nice little thing. So I can grab uh, the nodes. And now what I can do is see the animations here in Graph Editor. If I hit F, it'll zoom in on them. Now these are splines, and what I want to do is start getting you in the habit of flattening out your animation. So all you do is highlight all your points of animation, and then you can flatten it out using this. And you see that flattened out those tangent splines. This is a linear animation, meaning from point A to point B, it's a straight line, and what will happen with that, Unity likes those. Uh, it gives you an error message on the FBX exporter if you don't have that flattened out. Does it matter? Well, not really, but it leads to complications when you're doing other animations later on. One animation is fine, two animations problematic, so that's where we have to kind of flatten these out. So. Now what I want to happen is I want to add 66 frames to this and I want to do a new animation like aim down. So what's already going on is this, you know, the arms are swaying back and forth. I like that. I want to keep that kind of the same way. So Throughout this, I want to just keep going in and out, in and out, in and out of the what I already have is keyframed. Okay, and that is the arms. So what I can do is hold shift and highlight both arms and take these keyframes and I can copy paste them over and over. So this is up, this is down, this is up. These two are the same frame. Okay, so my next is probably copy this one to move it to th frame 35 and paste it okay and that'll leave a gap between the am animations that w I can use later on in the scripting so copy this one move it here ish doesn't really matter how about I just do frame 50 and take this last one copy it and paste it here Okay, so now it just should keep going. Do That's pretty good. I like that. All right, now uh, what I want to do is take it and flatten out those curves because you can see a little bit of a, a blurp between here and there. See it? So let's make sure that those are not splines. And they are right here. See the splines? So that little blurp right there, that's what I'm talking about. It leads to problematic stuff. If you can see in this area that it is blurping, I don't know if that's an actual term, but it, it's moving a little bit. Just slightly, but it is. So what it happens is if I flatten out these curves in that area, uh, now let's zoom in on that curve and see what happens between 30 and 35. Nothing at all because I flattened out the curve. So that's the difference between uh, spline animation and tangent linear. All right, so now I got two animations going. I got this and this, but I haven't really done anything on the, on the second brand of animation. Uh, what I really want to happen is just one small change and let me get hierarchy back up. And that is the fact that the left shoulder and right shoulder, okay? Right now, frame 30, what I want to do is key these because I want these the same on that frame. So from frame 1 to 30, nothing happens. Frame 35, however, what will happen is these get lowered down, okay? Okay? 
that's on the keyboard. So now, bam, bam. Very simple stuff. Keep it simple. Don't get too complex with this stuff until you get the, you get the hang of it. And I hit S on the keyboard, by the way, there. All right, now that we have our animation, uh, in the next video, what I want to do is export that out and make sure it looks okay in Unity. So you should save your scene and go on to the next video.